in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download Windows 11. So to start, let's open up our browser and then we're going to head to this web page www.microsoft.com forward slash software dash download and you're going to press enter. I'll have a link down in the description to this website as well. And from here, you're going to click on Windows 11 and then you should be brought to this download Windows 11 page. If you wanted to install Windows 11 on the device you're currently using, or in other words, upgrade the device you're currently using to Windows 11, then you can use this Windows 11 installation assistant and you can get it by clicking on this download now button. We want to be downloading the ISO file for Windows 11. So we'll just be scrolling down a bit until we get this create Windows 11 installation media. We're going to click on download now to download the media creation tool and then once it's finished we can click on open file the windows 11 setup should start and next we should be seeing the applicable notices and license terms you can read through this if you wish and then when you're done you can just click on accept after that it'll automatically use the recommended options for the pc you're currently using to download the windows 11 iso you can uncheck this box if you wish to change the language or the addition if that's available. For me, these settings are correct. So I'm just going to be clicking on next. And then here we can either choose to write the Windows 11 file we're downloading directly to USB drive, or we can choose to download the ISO file, which is what we want to be using in this guide. So I'll choose ISO file and then click on next. It'll ask me where I want to save the file. I'll just save it to my desktop and I'll give it a file name. I'll just call this Windows 11 22H2 and then I'll click on save and then it's going to start downloading the ISO file. And then once the media creation tool has finished downloading the ISO file, you'll have it wherever you chose to save it and you can open this ISO file with your Windows Explorer and then see the files that are on it and you can run this setup.exe if you wanted to upgrade or install Windows 10 on the PC you're currently using. Another thing you can do with this ISO file is you can use a program like Rufus to create a bootable USB drive, which you can use to format your computer and completely reinstall Windows 11. Or if you wanted to install Windows 11 on another computer, you can use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive with the ISO that you just selected. And I have made a video on how to use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive and I'll link that down in the description of this video. So that's how you can download Windows 11 and have a Windows 11 ISO file. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.